path of explaining like what is a wall, a cloud, what's the whole the wall is not it's not just a functional a real wall represents um, the significance of the person, the godly significance of the, of the, of the person. He builds walls because there's an intention to, to build a wall to. So this is a principle that we are trying to to expose as much as we can throughout throughout our learning. This is what what Sinus and Vincent of Taylor is about. There is convention. Where people actually think at the same not at the same level as animals. This is my my turf. So build walls around it. These do not carry what's called intellectual significance. Because there are people who are dishonest, whatever it is, that doesn't carry intellectual significance. Intellectual significance means that which the seichel perceives, conceptualizes, it has to be a separation. But it's at the seichel, not because of, of of intruders because of, of wrongdoing. That's what a wall is. Why does Seikl uh, dictate that should be a, a wall? So there are there are various elements in this. There is tneus. There are certain things you have to have to do with tneus. And then there is something which is beyond, which is most fundamental, most principal, that every individual human being, what's the matter? Every individual human being, what's the matter? You look so serious. Huh? Here so or then here so okay. That every individual human being is a complete godly creation. Oh. As an individual represents a truth. And therefore, as we say all the time, he has he, 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 he has a place in the world that he owns. A wall is that which demarcates a real area. The demarcation has a true significance. It's not just to facilitate something. Just like we explained that a person's home has to be compassion, has to fit his personality. If you give him the Empire State Building as a home, it's not a home. Which means that a wall is significant from this true human perspective. That's what a wall is about. And therefore, it's completely dependent and representative of what the significance of that wall is. And what is the circumstance with the opening? If the opening is such, then it's not an opening. It doesn't disturb the whole principle of this wall. It's complete, it's complete solid wall. If the opening is for this purpose, then it does, then it is an opening. So this is the level that Taylor is relating to. Words, this is what Taylor is. Taylor is, is is uh, how Taylor defines the world. This is how Taylor is mislavish in the world. When does Taylor come to the world? Taylor defines the world according to its principles. Then it can be there. A sukya has to have walls. Why? So that the wind will not disturb it. Also that cats don't enter it, <coughs> and the children don't enter it. What's more? 
because a sukkah has to be a, a definitive place. Because if it's not a definitive place, you're not you're not you're not perceiving the eating in a sukkah. It has to be a definitive place. There, 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 there are gavona, there is symbolism in this, and if that's a definitive place, there is no that is lost. There's one thing, but the Gemara says that a sukkah, that if this chach is above 20 amas, it's possible. Why? Because when you sit on the roof that is 20 amas above you, you don't sense that you're sitting under the, under the roof. You're sitting in the, in the shade of the wall rather than in the shade of the, of the roof. You have to sit on the, in the shade of this of this chach. Similarly, the, 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 the sukkah itself has to have a certain uh, certain size that, that is suitable for the human being, for human um, uh, sitting, for human use. It has to have demarcation. And demarcation has to be a solid wall, wall of brick. An indicator that there is a, that this is a wall, it's a very sufficient. The principle of good achis, phenomenal thing. Good achis means that if there is a plank by the ceiling of one tefach down, then the whole, the whole then, then it's considered that the wall has not descended all into the ground. Clearly, this is a halachic principle. Now, let's take this to the next step, which we already did. Now we should take the next step. What does it mean? But it's, it's, it's not real. There's no wall there. Here comes the question, what defines reality? Is the world real? Is the world real? Who brought the world over here? What's the world doing over here? What gives the world reality? The fact that if you fall down, you're going to hurt. You're, you're going to hurt, and that you're stuck in it <laughs> for, for 120. What what make what make the world real? The reality of the world is the God is the fact that God wants it. Is the Godly presence. That's the reality of the world. Just as you say the Hagel, because he's being this and this, a king makes the nation into a nation. The king of, of kings, his presence makes the world into a world. The essential truth of the godly presence of the godly reality that, that there is such a thing as a truth. This is what gives reality to everything. Therefore, if we are defining the world like a, a, a house, a wall, a sukkah, and on the principles of Torah presents, it is all based on this one principle of the truth of the godly reality. The Helam Hoatzmi. Because of the presence of the Helam Hoatzmi, because you sense the Helam Hoatzmi, this is why this is a wall. This is why this is a wall. So, what? That was a smile. So the wall, the wall's not really there, but there's the indicator. So the wall is there more than not, no less than you are there. Then the world, the world is there. Uh -huh. 
I mean, elsewhere we have that we live in the world and things should be actual in the world. But here we have an, that, the, that the indicator is sufficient because that makes it real. Right. When it comes to toilet, to haloch, it's defined purely on the basis of, um, of, of the toilet principle. This for you, for example, and, and what you're saying is on the opposite end, that a star, a, a document, or many times a document that that um, defines, describes a, some kind of a deal between two people. So the Allah demands the document be so well designed that it's foolproof. That no, that you, if, if no matter how much you will try to falsify it, you won't be able to falsify. It. If there is one line left blank from the bottom of the um, from the end of the document to the place where witnesses can sign, that line has to be filled in by nice scratches. And by other by other things, be full. Now, this foolproof element is in order to prevent prevent um, falsification, which means which means wrongdoing. So this can be. This can be understood uh, in different ways. Let's understand it where this where this fits into the Torah. There are two principles in this, from a Torah perspective. One thing is there's a thing the Torah says if Miksha. That you must you must guard that whatever you do does not does not entice somebody to do an avail. You must not tease the Yitzhar Hora, so to speak. Put down a hundred dollar bill. Nobody's gonna touch it. Yes, nobody should touch it. But it's too enticing. You shouldn't do it. There is a a, a meaning is wrong. You will be amazed among the greatest. Money has to be counted before you. If, if, if I pay you a, a loan, you have to count it, count in my presence, and then say it fits, it's there, and pack it up and put it away. Not to leave any kind of suspicion, not to leave anything in the air. It has to be counted by both parties. The, the one who is giving it uh, is counting before. But uh, the one who is receiving has to count it in this present. Mm-hmm. And it's done. And the similar thing is in this, in this document. The document is supposed to establish something. It doesn't establish as long as it is falsifiable. I trust you, you trust me. I don't, I don't suspect that you don't write anything else. It's a matter. The document has to be a real document, not on the basis of our trust. This is showing how the Torah comes even down to the lowest elements of the world. All the way down. It's different than the opposite of what we were talking about before. The Chorah is the opposite. Mm-hmm. The Chorah is the opposite. Right. right. Okay, but really it is not the opposite. Because the whole principle of the memory should be real comes because of the presence of the of reality. Not because oh, it could this could happen, not because of any circumstance. It has to be real. So you may say the same about the walls of the sukkah, but no. That it has to be real full walls. Uh, it the is, it, it's full. It it's full because in terms of what is a wall? Demarcating my presence. It demarcates my presence. Demarcates. 
The ball is not is not uh -huh. is not to keep it into the zone. It's sufficient to demarcate in the, that's My that's that. That's it. It's not for any function. It, it, it is it is full and that it satisfies. Whereas the contract, it, it, it has to define the reality on the on the human level. On the human level, into human level. Kiddushin, to Merkadosh of to Merkadosh of women. So, the Merkadosh of women are three different ways. One is with money, which is a common common way that we that we Merkadosh of women with money. Now the Bina is with a with a ring. How much money? Huh? A prut. A prut. A really. Is a, is a minimal. It's like a penny by us. Okay, it's, a min, it's, a, it's more than a penny, but it's, it's a it's, it's a minimal uh, uh, money uh, money value. But it has to be a proof. Should, should be not less than a proof. Look, a proof and buys this woman. What what is a proof? What it says, the proof. That's the truth. A woman is embarrassed, but she consents. She says, "Okay, I accept it." No, that can, there's something, there's something, something I'm not feeling. A truth is is um, very insignificant in America. But well, at least there's a kind, some kind of a transaction, a, a significant transaction between them, and the, and the consent is, is real. A transaction that insults me is also a transaction. I accepted it, but it's something something missing. So a pluto could be something else. That's why the two opinions, a pluto or a dinner, they're different... Uh, oh, there's two opinions. Uh, there are two opinions. You can be assured there's more than one opinion. <laughs> but all of this, all of this is due to this principle that there is an essential reality. If there were, if, if, Take away the essential reality. What's Kiddushin? Nothing. Nothing. Huh? Nothing. And Kiddushin establishes the complete halakha of, of marriage. Because it brings it, he says, from the perspective of reality, they are married. Nothing happened in terms of their, of their interaction. Because marriage, like everything else, marriage is is a godly reality, a godly statement that they are married, not just a human consensual thing. And if there is that true, that a, a real interaction, in, in, a transaction, it establishes marriage. Okay, so this is what we're saying. These birurim, this minute, like a dochkim bemilidei rais, these minute elements of distinction in halach from one situation to another, is the most minute the distinction. This is a, a, a not only a testing. This is relating and reaching up to the halam Because Helam who asks me, is present only where there is absolute truth. Nothing relative. And 
this is why it varies with every vari variant. Helen <coughs> is concealment. Helen right? huh? is concealment. Helen means the that which is concealment does not mean you hide something. Same when the reason it's concealed is because it cannot be revealed. It's, it's an essential thing. In essence. Okay. So I think that we did our best on this. All right. So again, we'll start on the line. Um, that begins, they ain't safe. It's about a third from the top of page Lamed Gimel. The senior document, Mila de Huchmese, is discussed at great length in this Hemshech um, Samachvov. Therefore, we see that there is in Torah the Indian from Helam Hatz. The Hagam, although Shezehu Daf Koali De Habiruri, that this is accomplished only through Biruri. It is not that Torah makes that statement directly, like Chuba. Directly makes that statement. Torah does not make that statement directly. But it, it, it is revealed through Biruri by, mean, by, by mean, establishing, in, 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 in engaging in the, in, in, the, uh, in the physical world and in the helm of the world and, and, and um, sorting things out. And in those circumstances, this reveals the helm of art. So it's with the Biruri, not the, not the, not the toilet directly. However, Still, it, it is part of Torah. Why? Hare yesh ba Torah ha'keach al zeh. It still, nevertheless, attests to the root of Torah, because we see that Torah has that koyach. Levare birurim bekoyach atoyim. To be mevare this birurim. Bekoyach atoyim with the koyach of Torah. Because only Torah has the koyach to establish these these elements. That's one more line. in Cain, Torah which means therefore that in Torah there is this bechina of helamo atzmi. This is why Torah is able to address and attend to all of these biruri, because in Torah there is that element of helamo atzmi. I didn't understand these words. The Hare Yesh Vatayra Hakoyach Al Zed Avar Al Biruri and Bekoyach Vatayra. Like, how is that the answer? I don't understand exactly how that's an answer. Our question was that the this is what what the Biruri revealed the the Halamats. Right. What how how is that how is that effectuated? Who, who, who's member, who brings out this Biruri? Only Torah can bring out this Biruri. Torah brings out this Biruri, that means that in Torah there is that that The only way you can have the Biruri is through the Torah. The Torah, And that engages, that, 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 and we live uh, to the hell of as we experience. And that can be the focus of relates to to the hell of Because we're saying it has to define something which is no no way definable otherwise. Right. It is true only because of the absolute truth, not because of any tangible and functional.
in Domitia there is a din, somebody finds a lost article. And he, he found it. The mission says a very interesting thing. That he finds a garment and he falls on it. <laughs> he clearly found it. Somebody else did not find it, but he sees the guy is sitting on it. So he goes and he picks it up. And who does it belong to? The one who picked it up. So one is sitting and one grabbing it. Yeah. One fell on it by an awful fell. So he really found it. The one who picked it up, he owns Because finding does not mean you ad you identify its, its location. That's in human terms. Finding means that it is, it has, it has, it, it came into your possession. It doesn't come to possession until you get, you grab hold of it. Again, if you think about it, you will see that there is a similar principle. What demarcates something that's yours versus hefty? It's your possession. Because, because of the principle we discussed the whole time, last whole, the whole, this, all of these days. Because your presence in the world is real. It isn't relative. Oh, I'm seeing it, then it's mine. Has it reached your hand? Has it reached your true, true presence? If it doesn't reach your true presence, then it's still happening. It was there before, and it was visible, so you see it. it hasn't nothing happened? You follow this? You see this everywhere. If you want to really delve into such a simple halach, you see, by the way, that this is goes to, to the depth of the of the of the of the of the of the, of the, of the Okay, we we'll continue. Zayinyan, and this is the, the principle, but it says, Member Samach Shibaluchas. This is the principle, Member Samach Shibaluchas. In the Luchas were engraved all the letters, and there was also a member, a member of Samach. Now, they know that the Luchas, the engraving in the Luchas, was not a surface engraving. It was an engraving through and through. Every letter, you can engrave it through and through, but it still has, it's still connected to to the general board. A member of Samach, if you engrave a member of Samach, there's nothing, the, the, now with a member of Samach is a line and, and, uh, and the, the, there's the middle. That in that this line surrounds this middle is not touching the um, the board upon which it is it is engraved. How does it stay? So this was it says member sama benes hoyoindi. The whole ruches is nes, but member sama benes hoyoindi. This is not chile benes. There's no way that there, there there's no nothing holding it up. Nes, nes what? The nes ho
So it says that this member Samach should be Luchis. Or Yinyan Shaheim, Paneda Shaheim, Beis Bechinus Mat. That the, the oasis in, in the in the Luchis, all the oasis in the Luchis were Beness because it was, as you said, the grave through and through. They were in grave through and through, and you can read it from both sides. So clearly this is a mess. And, and this mess, the, the Nisim in the, in the Luchas, represents two different levels of Makif. So in base Bechinus Makif. Bechinus Makif deir Yosho, or Makif deir Chesed. Okay, at this point it behooves us to understand a little bit the principle of Makif. <laughs> Makif normally we translate as the overall context. The context. Like for example, we say you have you have a home, you have a house, and in the house you have you have furnishings, you have all kinds of different things. The furnishings have been discussed many times. They are actually bringing out the 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 market of the home. And he said, hey, no, Odom, she ain't bias, she ain't Odom. The bias makes him into an Odom. And the fact that you have a table and a chair in it, that is also part of the of a house. But well, this is the primi, this is the, the giluim that come from the market. We're not going to go further because it's... it's if you think about it, you know, there are many things that, that will surface. Just very, very brief. So these are also, as you said, the chair and the table belong inside the home. If it's outside, it's not the same chair and table. <coughs> this is the derivative of the mark. Now, even though the chair and the table serve a specific function, yet, that specific function is enhanced to a great degree by its being inside the house, by the Maki. This is called Maki de Yosu. There is something directly identifiable. And it is definitely functional and it has a, a definitive place, yet the Maki gives it a real presence. What means real presence? Real presence means imperative presence. There has to be a table in chair. Normally a person needs a chair to sit on because he's tired. But in a home, there has to be a chair, not right? because he's tired. Because that complements the, the, the home. So even though this is, that's what the year Yosha, a Yosha, there's a clear function to it, but the Makif enhances it to a much higher level gives it a reality, much superior to the functionality of it. So, as I said, all the oceans in the, in the Luchas 
were standing the mess. Because the oysters were thrown through. I can read it through and through. I can read it from both sides. The whole thing was a mess. Nevertheless, there is the market very When you look at the oysters from one side, you don't see the mess. You see it through and through. And the, the market and the hunter, the market supports the presence of the yachts. It, it, it gives it, it gives it a context, it gives it a presence. Then there is another kind of market. What's makiv? Makiv the oil chayzer. Okay, let's 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 continue. We're in in the marshal. Where is the market? Um, you're saying the market gives it a presence. In the Luchos, what, what are we talking about is the market? If you have oysters, the kind of content. So in other words, the Luchos themselves are the market? Yeah. The Luchos themselves are the market. They, they put all the oysters together. What does the nace aspect have to do with? Where does the nace aspect fit into it? In other words, uh, the nace aspect has to do that if it is a mess, then it's not all your shop. So you're saying no, it is a yosh. All your shop means that that it's something which 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 can be understood from the world perspective. A straight expression. So the expression is not a mess. A mess is not, doesn't fit into the world. It's technically confusing. You, you're saying, you're saying uh, this market uh, okay. the in this case practically means that, that the, they could be read from both sides. No, no. Not, not that? No. But if you read it from one side, Is it in connection to the fact that they, the meaning, although they could, you know, if you go on the other side, you could also read it, but once you're looking from one side, you, you could it's read it. It's regular letters. Like regular letters. Regular letters. Regular letters. Actually, it's not regular letters. But when you see it, there is, there is, it, and there, there is the oil yosher, and, it, and there's a uh, market it's, that it's, presents it's, it. It's lent, it's lent to it in a way that it doesn't conflict with, with, uh, with your world. With your world. Right. Do I need it? Yes. Say that Mem Mem Samach himself said to them to the back here. Okay, so what is Eir Yosha? Eir Yosha means that which, which uh, he said doesn't conflict with with worldly principles. Even though it comes to Api Nesm Talazachim, still doesn't conflict with the other principles. Then there is Eir Yosha or Choizer and Makiv the Choizer, which doesn't have a place in the world. Mm. So let, let's look inside. It doesn't conflict with? With simple worldly principles. That's how you are The market there, Yosha, or who should bob and clean as ham shock. Market of the Yosha is that which comes with clean as ham shock. 
Chinas Amshocha means in a in an extension element. Amshocha means it comes into the world. It comes from a higher source, and then ultimately it's drawn into the world. Let me explain what what the Chinas Amshocha is. Bibchinus Amshocha means that it's drawn to you. It does not stay in its original place, like we have in our emotional of the guest and the and the host. So there is that which comes from the host, Hamshocha. He, he invites him, he settles him down, he serves him a meal. This is all Hamshocha of his of his attention to it, of his interest. In it. Then there is his own presence. His own presence does not come to Hamshocha. Like you said, they cannot be represented. It's either in here, it's there, it's not there. And when he is there, it's also, he is there, not that something is ninja from him to the guest. So that's what he said. Maki de Yosho is that which is Bob Ibn Hamshoch, has an element of Hamshoch, an element of extension, coming down to the level of the Mitzvahs. The F is called Seihu, and therefore, because it comes with Hamshocha, so even though it is a Maki, nevertheless, it extends itself to the point what F is called Seihu, that um, some of it, some some element of it, a very small, limited element of it, Bob, Bechin, as he slaps with Bipnimis. <coughs> comes in a hislapsus in a pnimius. In other words, it actually expresses itself in some in some presence. The pnimius, it can actually be grasped. The slabish pnimius. Omash actually slabish pnimius, and then that part which is not possible to be contained in pnimius, in a keili, nisha bebchina smaki remains in a Maki family. But even though some of it remains in a Maki in a Maki family, that part that is mislabish with news relates you to this Maki so that you can have a sense of what this Maki is about. It's not a Maki that, that is completely remote. Because since some of it you can grasp, this is the matim de yosh. the mashpia of the mashpia. We'll discuss in a moment. oil means that it comes from top down. In the mashpia there is the the Indian that he has the seichel and his perception, and he is. He is defining it in a manner that he can be mashpiyed from top down. This is Maki of the Yosh. Then there is Maki of the Oyer Choyzer of the Mashpiyah. What's it? Maki of the Oyer Choyzer of the Mashpiyah. Oichoise generally means reverberating, something that comes back from bottom up. So how is this, how is it come back from bottom up? It means like this.
Let's take uh, a physical illustration. There's a cloud that in order to lift, send them to lift, uh, lift uh, a building, you have to go to the bottom. If you lift from the top, you just pick up the top and the, and the, and the bottom remains, remains down. In a Yosha, when, you, when, when a Bashpia is, is giving over his Seichel to the Talmud, it is Seichel to Seichel. The Talmud has Seichel and is able to understand some of what the Bashpia is Bashpia. That which, is, that which he understands, he understands. That which he doesn't understand, so to speak, he trusts. When Bashpia said it, it, it must be right. This is the the, the, uh, the normal the normal interaction. Then there is a different type of of, of Ashpia. Not that the Mashpia is is teaching him his seichel. He brings it down, but it's still his seichel. It is like this. He goes down to the to the mushpa. He goes down to the bottom. Before I go there, I have to. Rem- Bring back something that we learned recently. To the bottom of what? To the bottom. Yeah. To, to, where, to where the Talmud is. To where he doesn't understand. There's one important principle that we will be discussed here and here where it comes to, to great use. We said that that the that the through Chochmah, there is a Chayez HaNefesh is drawn into the Guru, or the Oinag HaNefesh is drawn into the Guru. And that Oinag HaNefesh is drawn into the Guru to every aspect of the Guru, to the lowest, the lowest aspect. In other words, not just the Seichel, and not just the ability to do something, let's say, the ability to walk. So there is some kind of a highest kind of walking one foot after the other and pushing. Just to move the leg, that's part of the that already has highest. That already has, has oiling. Like we said many times, you have to understand a human being is never a robot. No matter how simple the, act, the action is. It's never robotic. The whole nefesh is involved in every act of in every action. What does this mean? It means that at the lowest, the most, the most physical element that would seem to be completely lifeless in itself. What? In itself. Life. Nevertheless, life can be expressed even at that level. Love can be expressed even on that level. The nefesh in its essential truth can relate just to the fact that this piece of, fl- this little bit of flesh is alive. Forget about any kind of uh, activity, any kind of accomplishment. It's alive and it feels and it's sensitive. We discussed it many times. Now, getting down to this low level of life and begin to develop an understanding in a sense of what this life is about. Like the, it says that Malach is that the, the heal of a person, this is like the mal is the most lifeless element in the person's body. The least sensitive. Then you go and you analyze this age, the life that's in the in the in the here, and it takes a long time before you 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 uncover. Yes, it is really alive. There's a certain amount, there's a certain sensitivity to it, and then you start understanding what that sensitivity is. 
what's this? What's the, what's the sensitivity? What kind of thing is this? From this, you start rising higher and higher, and then if I, with life, until you can actually reveal in this Akib the nefesh, the reality of the nefesh itself. This is called oil choizer. In oil choizer, there is no limit as to what you can identify. Was it that Because it doesn't come through Kaili. It comes inside the, inside the uh, actual presence of the oil. Now, you are not capable of really understanding what life is. Because life is, is a Bob Seich. Not capable of understanding what life is. But you are, you are tangibly experiencing it. When you start talking on like on, on a crazy level, like I told you the story with this lady who called me up in Toronto. I asked her a, a question. What's superior, a computer or a cat? She was all confused. She went to school and I told you the story. What's superior, a, a computer or a cat? So at first she says, of course a computer. Look how much what it can do. After a few uh, iterations of this discussion, she says, "Yeah, I can't disappear." And I told you, when I when she said that, I sensed a sigh of relief. This woman came back to life. Now, how did she discover it? She discovered it by going down into the physicality of the computer, the physicality of the cat, and she saw there's something different over there that doesn't exist in the computer. What is this? I don't know. But something very different. What's in, your, what's in your tongue? No, it sounds a little bit like the experience level, like what you were talking about is not or. Last night, um, when you're saying, you know, or is something that you see from a distance, whereas here, the Archoiser, you're actually getting to it from the from the experience level and, and working upwards. Right, but what you are what you are identifying with, so this is the important, identifying with, is actually the oil, the oil, but not in an understanding manner. You identify. So this makib the irchayzir, as we're going to see, is not bibchines hamshoch. This is not something that came forth to be explained and to and to and to tell you about about itself. It's the reality itself. No matter where you find it, it's a reality itself. Like we said, we were saying this <coughs> story with the cat and the computer. There is nothing, you can't put your finger on it. What is it that you see that this is different than that. Because it's a market. It's life. Life is a market fellow. But you but you can identify it in the lowest presence. That's what makes it all there. This is what all means.
Let's look a little bit inside. Markim do your choice the mashpia who when the mash when the oil choice when the oil choice the market for the mashpia as it is expressed in oil choice. Is she a no bob begin as I'm shock a cloud. This is what is not, does not come between us, Amshoch. Amshoch means it is, it's not something that he is extending and trying to explain something to you. Either trying to explain something to you or even to himself. This is something which he is, which an atomy when he is. It's not Bobe Hamshoch. It does not extend itself from its source. Other Rabbah. On the contrary, who be beginners helem achar helem be atzmus. This makif is in the state of helem achar helem. Helem achar helem, which means it is not, it is not even. He does not come face to face with it. Even with Ibad Musi, even in his own essence, it is not something that he is identifying with directly. Right. After. One consumer beyond the other consumer. Deeper and deeper. No matter how much you uncover it, uncover, you find it still concealed. But you're relating to it. But, but you sense it. You're relating to it. The truth is, this is what we are saying all the time, as I said yesterday, also, that the, the essence of all understanding, of all knowledge, of all reality, is not the reality that we identify. No matter how much we identify, we see this is not the whole, this is not the reality. What makes it real? makes it real is that which we can't identify it. So, how do I know it's there? Hashem said it's there. This is not even part of him. It's not part of his experience, part of his knowledge. Where does the Makif come into the picture? This is what Makif is. Makif is something that you can grasp. Just the reality that you can grasp. Obviously, there's much to speak about it, but this is the Nakuda of it. That ultimately, this is the magic that the Mashpia senses that is not of his discovery. He connects to that which the Rebbe of his nefesh, the truth of his own nefesh. Uh, or Yasha, he is he's uncovered in his own sight. Why is it Makif then? He's, he's, um, he's uncovered it in his safe. I mean, some part of it he doesn't grab. There's something that he knows there's a source from where it's coming from. Or there's. Well, there are, there are two aspects in this. One is. From the from the from the Mushra, from the Thomas perspective, from the Thomas perspective, he all understanding is as much as he understands 
some of it remains with the Mashkin. And and um, and um, like we on all Yosha, right? Like we said before, that the home, the house, the room. In order to identify fully what a room is, you have to have furniture. What are you identifying what a room is? A room is a market. It's a market that can be expressed in your food. It's a market that can be expressed in panini? You know, That's right. Panini is the furniture. That's right. It can be revealed. That's right. And or and or and or closer. I'm sorry. Sorry. Here comes an akuda that I've always looked for an opportunity, an opportunity to point out, and it didn't have, and I didn't want to go into lengthy discussions. Here's the point. This unit that now it says all the machine will buy in the What is this bias? How does bias relate to the person? And he has a place to sleep, to sit, to stand. What is the house? Why is the person in the house? And you know, <coughs> because a person has 630 different rooms, which means he's a function, he has a lot of things that he has to do. <coughs> he's not just a stone that is present. In order to express himself and to, and to reveal all of his functionality, he has to have his own place. And he's providing his own place because he is in this world trying to bring out his 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 conscience. This, is, this connects back to what we discussed a long time ago. I talked about a name. But a name, a person, is a very central thing. Very important thing. A name touches the essence of the person. Why, what's in a name? A name is, is a concern, is a good thing. A name is added to him after birth. Why is it so important about a man? The name is that which establishes him as a presence in the world. Everybody can know who he is by name. You can speak about him. And you can refer to him. A name, the naming of the child is stating. Now this child, yes, he is a truth for himself, but he's a presence in the world. The human being, his presence in the world, is a truth, is a godly truth. It's not his presence in the world so that he will have what to eat. He can't start food, so that we have, we have to, we have to come onto the world. On the Air, you can't live. No, that's not his presence in the world. Is his presence is his contribution to the world. This is his reality. Being in the world. Being in the world. This is why you say if a person is faint, you can wake him up by calling his name. What's it if he is calling his name? Calling his name is, hey, mister, you're here. You're supposed to be here. Where are you flowing away? What's the name? The symbol is the home. The home is again stay establishing that the person is a presence in the world. A real presence in the world. Presence in the world is not only that he occupies space, but he's got what to t what to say about it.
And that's called Maki de Yosho. He has what to say. There's a message. The person who, who faints, the person who, who passes away, is he considered to be in a different Maki? My question to you is, is there two types of Makifim? From all this discussion, is there two types of Makifim? We said there are two types of Makifim. You're interested to know the state of a person when he is in faint. I'm not going there. <laughs> we have enough, enough problem over here. Okay, so meet him tomorrow, we'll go for it. That was a Yasha. That was, that that was, was a Yasha. Yeah, because that's what the, the home is. The furnishing is part of it. Why is it part of it? Because that's what it is. That's what it's all about. Why is human being? This is all part of the human presence in the world. Okay, this is it for today. Have a good day. That was another notch in the in the Adam chain, Lo Bayis Right. Adam. Words, that's usually, you've explained it up till now as he needs a presence in the world, but right. specifically, why does he need a home? Because he consists of his activity. His, he needs activity. He's, he's, he does activities. It's part of the right. This is the ultimate thing: is that he does activities in the world. I was scratching the open opportunity and just fit it right in this morning. Tomorrow you'll contrast it with Orofaisa? Tomorrow we'll turn on go to Orofaisa.